don't worry about the next because it's your boy Chris with the next all right so I just had to kind of talk about this very tragic situation in Cleveland um, a man got shot on a Facebook live stream another tragedy on live stream another um, stupid Negro using live stream for stupid stuff um, this old man got shot by this guy who goes on Facebook by the name of Stevie Stevie. They since down took his page, but his name is Stefan. I don't know his last name because I don't really care to know his last name. But this man, um, my take and my opinion on it, um, okay, so he gets out of his car, he just Facebook live streams and just, just decide for the hell of it, for the funk of it. He's gonna shoot. Um, he's gonna shoot somebody today, and he decided to shoot that old man because I guess he felt like he lived a long enough life. My take and my opinion on it: this man is probably mentally ill. Um, if somebody catch him, I hope he does get his karma real quick because I hope he sees that old man in his dreams because that was just a very heinous crime. I have no sympathy and no sympathy or no empathy for that man. Even if he has mental illness, he's, he probably just did it for the funk of it. And um, the family was um, family was crying, saying the old man was a good man. He was very, um, you know, happy-go-lucky type of old man. And, and this uh, fat bastard shoots him down. And... The, the chilling thing about it is he said he killed um, 12 other people. That has yet to be confirmed. Um, I hope he was just bluffing. I really do hope he was just bluffing. I wish this, uh, if he would have like bluffed on the old man too. Fortunately, he lost his life. And I don't care if he was old. He still had, you know, more life to live, you know. That man, uh, Stevie Stevie, was not God. He cannot um, be taking people's life. Because God does not send people to shoot other people and kill them. So I don't care if the man was, I don't care if the man was 99 going on 100. He still had no right to shoot that man. And um, my thing about it is, so he gets online, posts a bunch of videos talking about how he's going to kill other people. And then he had a, a Instagram. Okay, so the thing that got me was Instagram. He had an Instagram page, and then on Instagram, the Shade Room reposted his video. I don't know if they got it from his page or from wherever, but he actually liked the pic. Then a lot of people comment, uh, clicked on his profile. He posted more more videos on there, and then he posted a video saying, "Who's next?" Also, he had a check a verification by his name is like how famous people have that blue check so you know it's authentically them who in the hell uh, gave him a blue check i want to know some how many instagram or somebody uh, instagram to do their job because it shouldn't take when you part something it shouldn't take a while almost like a week for it to come down they've been scouring the internet to erase all his videos but um yeah he keeps creating pop-up accounts but his original account had a blue check on it. Like who who verified um, who verified that? A lot of people saying it might be conspiracy. He could be um, maybe the government is using him. I have no idea. Um, and they're trying to prevent um, copycat killings too. Uh, I have no idea. I would hope not, but. No, he just seemed like some fool who just had nothing better else to do. In my opinion, he seemed like some fool who had nothing better else to do and just to go out shooting people because in Chicago, they call it Chirac because that's a place where basically black people, niggas go to die. So I feel like he had that mentality. He just felt like shooting somebody. And I hope somebody catches ass. I don't care if they lynch him. I really wouldn't because, like, that was just, um, you know, I was shocked. Like, I didn't even watch the video. 
I just heard it on the news. I don't even think I would care to watch the video and see that because it's just, that, that's just mind boggling. You could just be walking down the street now. Somebody just decided to shoot you on live, a Facebook live stream. Like I'm getting tired of people using, you know, Facebook and live stream and all these good um, tools for stupid stuff like committing suicide or shooting a girlfriend with somebody, some guy who shot his girlfriend and, and some girl, another girl, got raped on live stream by a, by 13 different guys, 10 or 13 different guys. They uh, ran a train on her and they live streamed it. And they said people actually liked and uh, was liking the video and um, leaving hearts and stuff. And yeah, um, I didn't see that video either. I just saw a screenshot and uh, the screenshot was very chilling and I would not watch anything like that. Because I remember Facebook had a, a, a porn spam. And they had somebody had put child porn on there. They had put all this weird porn. Not, not like the good kind, like the mainstream, whatever. It was like a lot of um, stuff that you wish, that you can't unsee. And that would irritate you. And, um, yeah. So now, so now live stream is the new thing that people are abusing. As for the Steven Steven guy, I, I really do hope they catch this person. They scouring the the. They say they searching for him. They have all his information, and still they can't find him. But you can find the jersey. Oh, come on now. But however, uh, he gonna get he gonna cross the wrong person because now his his um image and stuff went international. So he gonna cross the wrong person. He gonna try to shoot somebody, and they gonna shoot his ass in retaliation. So. Um, that's just my take on it. Um, rest in peace to the old man, you know. That's very sad that he had to go out that way. And just for all other people who want to live stream, I, I advise you to stop using, <laughs> abusing live stream. Because that's not what live stream is for. You know, it's for it to, like, if you got Coachella and you want your friends to see that, or if you just, you know, having fun. You know, stop killing, stop raping people. People who got killed, people killing themselves, raping, um, doing drugs, showing fights, just really abusing it and it's getting annoying. And it's really like really ch chilling that somebody can get popped on uh, uh, Facebook. Because there was some guy in Iraq, I mean, in Chicago, who got popped on live stream. Like he went back to the terror, uh, he went back to, uh, he killed somebody in that area, got out of jail, and then it was like, uh, he'd been in jail for, I think, 18 years, and he got out, and then I guess he thought nobody was going to remember his face, and they did, and he got popped. <laughs> this is real crazy. But anyways, comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Anything else you want me to talk about, comment section below. Till then, this is being a boy, Chris with the next. Peace.